Welcome to Build Your Arsenal. This channel supports the separation of guns and politicians. Shall not infringe means keep your hands off my firearms. If you disagree, cast your vote today for Joe Biden by hitting the dislike button. If you agree, hit the like button and subscribe. Today we're looking at the all new SFT9 from Wilson Combat. That's the solid frame track grip 9mm 1911. What exactly is it, and how does it compare to the EDC X9 and SF X9? Which one should you get if you can only get one? That's what we will consider today. Two caveats here. There are some significant differences between these three lines, but we will focus on the SF T9 versus the EDC X9 since the SF X9 is just the solid frame version of the EDC. Next, we are sticking with the stock versions. Wilson allows lots of customization, so there's room for variation, but we'll stick with the stock versions of these guns. With that said, let's get started. Disassembled, you can see differences between the EDC X9 and the SF T9. The top end has the most significant differences, so that's where we will start. The EDC X9 has a rear tactical adjustable battle sight and a user replaceable front sight. The SF T9 features a dovetail front and fixed dovetail rear sight. Next, the EDC has a cone barrel. The SF T9 gives you a match grade barrel and bushing. Personally, I like both of these options. The weight of a cone barrel is a benefit, but I think there's additional accuracy with a match grade barrel and bushing. The EDC X9 has a user serviceable external extractor. The SF T9 has a classic 1911 internal extractor. Personally, I don't have a preference here. They're both Wilsons. They're both going to perform just fine. Wilson knows what they're doing with internal extractors. I do like the more classic look of the internal extractor though. The EDC X9 has the X-TAC pattern slide serrations. The SF T9 has the classic wide cocking serrations. In my opinion, the SF T9 has the advantage if you're looking for more of a traditional look and if you're looking for more traction. Moving on to the slide profiles, the EDC has a tri-top slide profile and the SF T9 has the classic commander slide profile. Again, if you're looking for a more traditional look, the SF T9 will give that to you. Back to the internals of the top end. The EDC X9 gives you a four inch stainless cone barrel with Wilson Combat's reliability enhancing lockup system which is a single lug tapered cone match grade 1911 barrel. It also has a full length guide rod. With the SF T9, you get the commander length slide and barrel with a GI style guide rod. Wilson hand fits each four and a quarter inch match grade bushing style barrel. I think there's a slight edge in softer recoil and accuracy with the SF T9 because of this. Now let's move on to the lower. With the EDC, you get those awesome looking G10 aggressive starburst grips with pewter medallions. The SF T9 gives you that one piece solid aluminum grip frame. Although it looks like the only difference in trigger is that the EDC is solid and the SF T9 has a skeletonized trigger, I do think they feel different. The SF T9 just feels better to me. Oddly enough, more solid compared to the EDC. It's slight, but it's noticeable. Next, we get into the grip pattern. The EDC X9 has the X-TAC front strap mainspring housing treatment. This is a great grip texture. It is also 1.4 inches wide. The SF T9 has the track texture front strap back strap treatment. It is only 1.155 inches due to the solid body frame. This may not sound like a lot, but it is significantly different. It's a lot slimmer. I really, really like how thin this is. I think the edge goes to the SF T9 for the texture though. It's a significant difference. The gun just does not move in your hand with this texture. The reduced diameter of the Wilson Combat solid frame along with the track grip strap texture improves recoil and reduces muzzle flip. This alone helps push me towards the SF T9. 
One additional thing I will point out between the grip panels for the EDC X9 and the solid frame for the SFT9 is the difference of the mag release button. It's more recessed with the EDC and much easier to hit with the SFT9 without the panels. It's essentially acting like an extended magazine release button, especially with the indent they put on the frame. I really like this with the SFT9. Lastly, I wanted to go over the weight differences between the three models. Loaded, the EDC X9 weighs 35.04 ounces, the SF X9 weighs 36 ounces, and the SF T9 weighs 36.5 ounces. Part of the additional weight is due to the solid frame over the EDC and the commander length over the SF X9. Again, this is something that's going to help mitigate some of that recoil as well. So which one should you get? For me, if I had to choose just one, I'd go with the SFT9. I think it shoots a little softer in recoil. I'm a bit more accurate with it. I love the solid frame. The texture is an improvement I didn't think was possible over the EDC. And I love the classic 1911 look of the top end. Ultimately, though, you can't go wrong no matter which one you choose. You're getting a Wilson Combat. That's the great thing about Wilson Combats and why they're always being added to my arsenal. Thanks for watching Build Your Arsenal. Hit the like and subscribe buttons and see you next time.